So in a previous video, we talked about using a handful of different essential commands. Let's employ those commands now to do something very specific. I want to look at log files. So I'm going to start by going to cd forward slash, there we go, to take me to my, there we go, to take me to my root. And then I'm going to do lsl. And let's just talk through some of these folders a little bit. So the slash is your root file system. And then as we go through here, we see a bunch of things. So dev has uh, files for our devices. ETC has some uh, config files. A lot of uh, system-wide application configuration files are stored there. Uh, home directory, home has all of our home directories. Uh, mount is the default location to mount things. Um, proc. Uh, proc is the virtual file system for the... Uh, OS level components, um, user, inside user, we've got user bin, which has a lot of the user commands, user lib for libraries, and then inside var, let's do cd var and lsl, and inside here we're going to see log, and this is another big one, this is where most of our log files are kept. So I'm going to do cd log ls-l, and we'll see a bunch of our log files. Now, now that I've got here, let's take a look at our syslog file. So I'm going to cat syslog. And we're going to see a bunch of stuff go by in a hurry. So let me pipe that to more instead. And now we can work through our syslog one file at a time or one uh, page at a time. There we go, get that right. Now, the downside of doing that is there's a lot of information. We start at the top and we work our way down. If we wanna do a reverse, we can use TAC. And actually, before I do this, let me show you right here. You can see the advancing time, 19, 21, 26, 31. So I'm gonna TAC my syslog file, and I'm going to pipe that to more. And now you're going to see we're working in reverse order. So we're working backwards through time for our syslog file. So cat and tack are a couple of great ways of viewing the syslog file, but it's looking at the entire file. And it just depends on which direction we want to. Do we want to look at it from oldest to newest? That would be cat. Or from newest to oldest, that would be tack. Now, if I don't want to do all of that, I can use grep to look for sp some specific things. So I'm going to grep, G-R-E-P, network for forward slash var, forward slash log, forward slash syslog. Oh, I could have just done syslog because, you know, I'm sitting here. And this will look for the word network anywhere in my syslog file. It actually didn't find it. I think I had a syslog.1 file. Hey, I have a syslog.1 file. When I go back there, now I can see a bunch of things in there as well. So grep will search through the log file, which is very, very convenient. Another way we can do it is we can look at the tail of the log. So I want to just uh, look at the last 15 line items from the syslog. And this will show me, whoops, nothing if I don't spell it correctly syslog, this will show me the last 15 entries in my syslog file. So that's what tail does. Keeps you from having to go through the entire log and you can just look at the last however many. And there's one more that I want to let you know about and that is tail-f. So I'm going to tail-f syslog. And by the way, I could have typed the entire full path to these and viewed the log from anywhere. I just happened to navigate over here to a var log because we were practicing with ls and cd. So I'm going to view the tail of the syslog. Now you'll notice this shows me the last few things and then it stops. What it's actually doing is it lets me see that in real time. So typically you view a log file and then you don't see any real time updates to the log file. This just sits here and watches the file and if another entry comes into the syslog or whatever log you're looking at, it's going to pop up immediately. So that's what tail does. Okay, there we go. Those are some ways to view some of our log files. Let me control C to get out of here. And remember, we're in um, 
var log, that's where a lot of our log files are going to be. So as we get more and more things running on this that are writing their own log files, those same techniques that we just talked about will work to display those as well.